Hi submarine friends. I managed to move the submarine into my warm shop here. I have two shops. One's a fab shop and this is the shop where I put everything together. I can't make things really smelly or anything so I have to time what I do and what time of year I do it. So anyways, now the sub is in here and I'm going to start assembling it. So you can see it's all dirty from sitting around all summer. But anyways, that is one of the carbon fiber tanks and that's the second one. Each of those tanks provide the sub with 550 pounds of buoyancy per tank. So 1,100 pounds of buoyancy, which is pretty significant. Then I've got four of these ballast tanks that I built. Each one provides 220 pounds of lift, so 880 pounds of lift. So in addition to all the tanks that I've added, this here is kind of my favorite part because I'm always very paranoid about landing on something and then being stuck on it. So this is a solid metal pan and it uh, covers the entire bottom. I have to make a hole on this side for my transducer to go through. And other than that, I have to put a few brackets in for the drop weight and that's it. So the freeboard is right about here, but the body is way up here. So the body extends up, which acts like a sail. So I didn't start out building a submarine to be that big boxy shape. What I did is I put everything on the occupant sphere that absolutely has to be there. And I did it in a manner that makes it as compact as possible with the thought that it would be as tangle proof as possible. So now I have this nice tight cube and it just needs a body on it. So that's what I did. I just wrapped it in a body. So when I designed the body for the back of the submarine, I allowed for space for the two battery boxes that are going back there. These are air compensated uh, battery enclosures and they're 225 amp hours a piece. So that will really help with the range. And so that is how the shape was inspired. It's simply um, following the function of the submarine. So that's how I ended up with this. Ciao for now.